Sometimes when we're fighting, the first thing I'm gonna do is just shove him. That's the first way I shove. I just push his arms. The second way is I pull his arms and I up shove him. Again, I pull and I up shove. The third one is I pull and I shove the chest. And a lot of times when I do that, it's the shotgun. <coughs> okay, then the last one is called the wave. Okay, number one, he walks at me, boom, shove. Number two, I jut, and then I up shove. Number three, I pull, I shove the chest. Number four, these are the elbows. So when you know you gotta get down to business, there's no messing around. You just wanna drop an elbow and you wanna cut this guy as fast as you can because there may be more than one person. So the first is when he throws a jab across. This is gonna go like this, slow motion, bing, bing. And then this is going to come down. So slowly, boom, boom, and then snip like that. Okay, same thing, jab across, step, and snap elbow here. Again, snip elbow here, jab hook. Cover and snap elbow, same time. So you go like this, and you stomp the floor as you elbow, like that. Same thing, this can come in while you're covering the rear hand, like this. Now this is gonna allow this to come up. Another one, as you're here, he comes in, you up elbow here. So you just come in, here comes across, look at him in, and this is coming straight up. Then this can come from here and you whip it. So you gotta whip, whip the elbow, but you gotta whip it through. Anytime you hit a jut south, just a little pull, that's a snap and a step. So you can't just hit it, you've gotta really, you gotta really step and get that, that snap with it. And then same thing here, like you're holding a tray, this way or this way. <clears throat> This one's kind of hard. You can hit people good with it, but you're not really gonna do the damage that you would with the downward elbow, aiming at the eyebrows, like this and like this. This is okay too, punk, but you really have to whip the elbows to get the power. If he comes in with a big wide rear hand, this is called the rhino spear, comes in, he pushes me, he comes in with a big bang, that's a rhino spear. Same thing, he comes in with a left, that's your rhino spear. Bang, you can rhino spear here, or it doesn't matter. As long as I have a defense and an upward elbow at the same time, like that. The elbows have to whip, they cannot just push. It has to snap and it's gotta be a whip. The same with your headbutt. And the headbutt can be here, but it also should be up here. And the elbow, I'm aiming with this at the back side of your jaw. I'm not aiming with the tip of my elbow here because he leans back. But I aim with this here. So look at the odds of me hitting. Even if he slowly, if he leans back, look, bang, I'm still gonna clip him. So putting the middle of the forearm and aiming it at the jawline, your odds of hitting are a lot higher with that elbow. Do not do this with your elbow because that is basically a forearm. You wanna either turn it sideways or palm away, and that sharpens the elbow. You wanna sharpen that elbow. See that? Now look at this. Or here. Sometimes when you're in the street, there's no gloves, obviously, so when he wants to throw a punch at my face, I give him the hard part of my body. So when he throws a punch, I just put my head down. Let him punch my head. If he throws a hook, I, I turn my head into the hook. If he throws a hook here, my head into the hook. It's gonna hurt me a little bit. It's gonna rattle my brain a little bit, but nothing compared to what's gonna happen to his hand when he hits the bone. Every time he just throws, boom, you headbutt. Headbutt, headbutt, and headbutt. The head works really well to destroy things. This is a defense against a push and a wide punch. So 
So we're here like this, and he shoves me, and here comes a big wide punch, bang, just covering head. He shoves me, boom, immediately. So my hands are gonna come from here. As he shoves, bang, that's my hit. That can come in, bang. And then finish with a figure four neck crank. Again, he shoves me, he shoves me, he punches, bang. Elbow, knee, bang, grab it. If you wanna shuck him and kick his head, that's fine too. Okay, this entry is like a spear entry, but what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna dive and crash in, and as I crash, I'm gonna open. So, it looks like this. So, his hands are up, this hand's gonna come here, my hands go together, I immediately turn his head. So if you'll see, this hand is going to comb his hair. If I grab his hair, that's fine, but I'm gonna go here, just like this. My first shot, is just gonna go right here. My first shot is just a hack with my hand. The second shot is a forearm hack. The third shot is an elbow or a downward elbow. So when I enter here, this is the first shot. Now he starts to back up. So the second shot is here. Knee to the face, punch to the face, kick to the head. So slow motion. I crash, I hack, bang, right away. Knee, kick, punch, kick. The hands stay on your partner the whole time. So as I crash, the crash comes here. This is an immediate hack. I could go here, boom, he backs up. I could still go here, he backs up. I go here, he backs up, I go here, and then here. So, it's called the spear with a little half twist on the end. There's a few entries off the jab cross, uh, collie style, jab cross, backhand, backhand, reverb, sorry. The bounces, the hits and pulls through, the elbows and backhands, elbows and hits. Then we go into a little bit of the wrist lock stuff with this. These are eight ways we're gonna stop somebody from stepping in on us. Number one, if he's out of range and he's walking at me, I long to see Number one again, as he's back, I, I let him walk right, bang, right into the teeth. The second one is a short teeth. Okay, now the teeth is a push kick. The third one, he walks in, front leg side kick. Then he comes in, oblique kick. Okay, now he walks in, and I, and I go knee. The next one is a marching knee, bang. Then he steps in, I stuff him to stop him. And then the last one, he walks in, I step off. Okay, one more time. He walks, teeth, he walks in, teeth, he walks in, side kick, he walks in, oblique kick, he walks in, right knee, he walks in, step left knee, he walks in, Frankenstein stuff, keep your hands, because you can tap, tap, and then the last one, he walks in, I step off.